All right, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a simple tutorial on how you can use the Drift DeFi platform on Solana to trade and to earn yield on your crypto assets. And if you didn't know, the Drift Points is currently live. It's accumulating right now, and the first points drop is gonna be happening in less than 10 days. So the more that you trade on the platform and lend and borrow and interact with their different market makers or liquidity provision vaults, then the more points you're gonna earn. Also, the point system is only running for three months, and then there's gonna be an airdrop. So do with that information what you will. So for starters, before you can complete any of the steps I'm gonna show you in this video, you need to have a Solana wallet. I'm using Phantom, it's my favorite Solana wallet. And you need to have at least $50 of assets to deposit onto the platform, as well as at least a little bit of SOL tokens to pay for the transaction fees. So once you navigate to the website and connect your wallet, this is what it looks like. I know it seems a little bit complicated just because there's so much going on. So it's not necessarily super beginner friendly, but it's actually not that difficult. So the first thing that you need to do is to deposit some collateral onto the platform, and that's going to allow you to create an account and to start trading and earning yield. So if you click this button in the top right hand corner, it will open up and there's a button here that allows you to deposit collateral. So hit that and then you select which asset you want to deposit. It defaults to USDC, but you don't have to deposit USDC. You can deposit any of these assets listed here. So I'm going to be using BSOL, which is a liquid staked SOL token. Now, also important to note, there's a fee to create an account of 0.0482 SOL. And grayed out down here, it might be a little bit hard for you to see, but the minimum initial deposit is $50. So there is a little bit of a hurdle to get over, but once you actually have $50 and you're willing to pay the $4 fee to create an account, then you can hit confirm deposit. So click that button and you'll have to confirm a transaction in your Solana wallet and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so the deposit was successful and I have now created a new account. Now, immediately upon depositing collateral to the platform, you actually start earning a yield on that. Plus the yield is getting boosted with some Blaze rewards because the Soul Blaze team that manages B Soul is incentivizing people to make deposits onto DeFi platforms. Anyway, so this is the overview page now. We can see the total value of the portfolio, which is the one B sold that I deposited. And then over here under assets and liabilities, I can track my balances of each of the different assets that are available on the platform, as well as open positions. So once we start trading, the open positions are gonna show up here and then you can track your profit and loss right here. And this overview page here is just a simplified version of the first three tabs on the left. So balances, it's the same thing. You can just track how much of each asset you've deposited onto the platform. Portfolio, you can track your profit and loss from trading and then positions, you can track your open orders or open positions. So the important stuff in terms of what you can actually do on the platform is up here at the top. So there's the trade features and there's the earn features. So let's start with trading. I'm gonna start with the simplest one and then we'll work our way up to the most complex one. So this right here is the swaps feature and you can just trade between the different assets that are available on the platform. So if I wanted to swap some BSOL for USDC, I would simply select how much I wanted to swap. Then if you're happy with what you see and here it actually shows you the route that the swap is gonna take, then you hit on the swap button here and your wallet will pop up asking you to confirm a transaction. So hit confirm and then it might take a second or two for that to go through. Okay, the swap was successful. Immediately my balance updated. So now I have USDC in my account on Drift. And if I go to swap history here, I can see that trade. All right, now let's go over the spot trading feature where you can trade assets based on their current market price, but you can use up to 5X leverage. So this is a little bit different from swaps and let me show you what I mean. Now, if you are interested in trading on leverage in the settings under margin slash leverage, you can just click this button here to turn on leverage and you can select what the maximum amount of leverage you want to be able to use on your account is and then hit save. At the top, there's a list of the different assets you can trade and it shows you what the price movements have been doing over the past 24 hours. This button right here lets you toggle between the asset that you wanna trade so you can select which pair and you can see all of them are paired with the USDC stablecoin. So let's say that we wanted to trade the Solana USDC pair. You can either buy this token or sell this token, so long or short. Now, even if you don't have any Solana tokens in your wallet, you can still sell it. 
And why is that? Well, because the platform will automatically detect how much collateral you have based on the assets that you deposited, and you can actually take a loan against the assets you deposited. So in this case, for me, BSOL, and use that to sell Solana short or to go long if you wanna use leverage. So let's say I wanted to sell or short Solana. I would select which order type. Market order is just literally the current market price. Limit order is where you set a specific price target that you wanna hit. So let's say I wanted to sell short Solana at the market price, then I would use this bar here to select how much leverage. And this right here shows the maximum amount of leverage it would allow me to take, 339 US dollars. But I don't recommend using max leverage in any circumstance. So let's say I was gonna short Solana at 2X leverage or 1.98. Now this right here is saying it's going to sell 2.315 SOL but I don't have that much in my wallet. I only have 0.11. So what happens when I actually confirm this transaction? Well, let me show you. So the order was filled and now you can see I have a balance of 190 US dollars in my account. But if I scroll down to the Solana section, I owe 2.19 SOL. So basically what it does is it borrows against the collateral that you provide to the platform and then allows you to sell it for US dollars. And it's the exact opposite if you were going to use leverage to go long. Now, if you wanna close out this position, there's two ways that you can do it. In the actual spot trading section, down below in the balances, you can close out the order, or you can go to your balances tab in the main section here, and then close out the borrow as well. And so that's how it works. That's how it allows you to sell an asset that you don't even have. It's basically just taking out a loan in USDC against the value of your collateral. And then theoretically, if the price of Solana goes down from the point where I bought it, then I would be able to repay my loan and the difference would be my profit. Anyways, I'm gonna close this borrow and then we'll move to the next step. So I'm just gonna hit close borrow here, select, the maximum amount and then hit swap. And now that that has gone through successfully, I've cleared the position and my original assets are back in my wallet. So that's how you can use the spot trading feature to actually use leverage to buy different assets. Now let's move on to the perpetuals. So this is where we are trading futures or perps and you can use more leverage on perps than you can by trading spot. It allows you to use 10 or even up to 20x leverage if you've allowed that on your own account. With spot you can only trade up to 5x leverage or 10x if you're using a stablecoin pair. But the mechanics behind trading perpetuals is very similar except there's a lot more different assets that are available for trading in the perps market here. So you can see they've got a bunch of different meme coins and coins and not just like Bitcoin and ETH and Sol. But it's the same deal. You select which asset you want to trade. Then you can choose if you want to go long or short. You choose the order type and then you choose the amount of leverage. Now the thing about these trades is that instead of actually putting a new asset into your portfolio on the Drift platform, it's going to create an open order that will stay open until you close it because it's a perpetual option. It doesn't actually close. It doesn't have a contract expiry date where the option is put to you. So you can leave this literally open forever or until it gets liquidated. And that's the thing about trading perps, especially on leverage. You need to be very, very careful. So let's say I wanted to open up a short trade on Bitcoin at 2x leverage. It shows the liquidation price here and also when I click to confirm the order, it will pop up. So currently the price of Bitcoin is around $39,000. The liquidation price of this trade with 2x leverage is 60,000. So if the price of Bitcoin goes up by about 18,000 from where it is right now, then my position would be liquidated. So let's open up this trade and then confirm the transaction in the wallet. Okay, the order was filled and now this position is open. So this will stay here either until I decide to close it or it gets liquidated. And obviously I'm just gonna track the price of Bitcoin here. You can use candlesticks, you can use the bar chart, you can use the line. So you can customize this chart however you like. I like the candles. Uh, this right here is the order book. So it shows you where there's a bunch of buy or sell walls. And up here you can track the health of your account. So if you're taking on too much leverage, this will start to show yellow, orange, or red. And yeah, you can open up as many different orders at the same time as you want. Of course, again, I can't stress this enough. Be super, super careful with leverage. You can check in this tab here to see what your unsettled profit and loss is. So that trade I just opened up is currently, uh, well, just about break even, minus one cent right now. And when you are ready to close an order, you can either just click on this button to close it immediately, 
or you can actually set a, a limit price or a, a stop limit or a place where you want to take profit. So let's say I wanted to set a take profit for if it goes down by five or 10%. And then I wanted to set a, a stop limit where if it goes up by say like two or 3%, then I could make sure that I close out my position and limit my downside and prevent myself from getting liquidated. So hopefully this isn't too complicated. I would say that the Drift trading platform is definitely not for beginners. It's a little bit more of an intermediate to advanced trading platform. Anyway, so let's leave this trade open just to see what happens with it for now. And I'll show you some of the features in the Earn tab because that we've just covered is the trading, but there's also earn. So let's go to the first section, which is lend and borrow. Now, when you deposit assets onto the Drift platform, you're automatically lending them out and you earn a yield depending on which asset you deposit. So the APR for depositing USDC onto the platform is almost three and a half percent, but for depositing BSOL, which is the asset I deposited, it's only 0.11, so not that much. Now you can also borrow from this platform based on the collateral you deposited if you want to. So up here where it says borrow, you would click this button and then you could select which asset you want to borrow. But Drift uses the same collateral that you deposit for all of the different features at once. So if you open up a position on leverage and then if you borrow a bunch of assets, your account health is going to be affected based on every single thing that you do. So you do need to be careful and you need to make sure that your account health does not get into the red. So the limit that I can borrow right now based on the amount of collateral that I have is $50 and I could select which asset. It shows you the borrow APR. So borrowing a stable coin is pretty expensive, but borrowing Solana against my BISO is less than 1.5% per year in interest. And if you do want to borrow an asset, you simply hit borrow and then you select the amount. So let's say I wanted to borrow 0.1 SOL then you hit confirm. And this is actually going to withdraw that amount, 0.1 SOL, from the Drift platform to my Phantom wallet. Okay, well, that was actually kind of dumb because I already had 0.1 SOL in my wallet. So it just withdrew that. But anyways, you get the idea. And by withdrawing that small amount, my account health has now gone down a little bit more. The next feature that I wanna show you is the insurance fund staking. So the insurance fund is the protocol's backstop to maintain the solvency of Drift. And if you deposit assets into these insurance fund vaults, it's gonna take assets from your external Solana wallet, not from your Drift account. So let's say I wanted to deposit into the Sol vault. I would hit stake here. I would select the amount that I wanna stake. So let's say I want to deposit 0.1 Sol. Then you have to confirm you understand the risks. Hit confirm stake and then sign a transaction in your wallet. Now, the reason why the yield is higher on this is because there is a 13 day cooldown period. So you can unstake it, but you have to wait almost two weeks. So do not deposit assets into the insurance fund staking if you actually need to use it at any point in the near future. But once you do deposit assets into a vault, the option to unstake pops up and you can click on it and then select unstake. However, again, you have to wait almost two weeks for that. So depositing into these vaults is a good way to boost your yield on certain assets. The yield on USDC is ridiculously high right now at over 100%. And some of these other ones, you get a nice yield as well. Next up, they've got market making vaults. So what market making is, is basically when someone has a large pool of capital and uses it to facilitate trades by providing liquidity. So if you deposit into either of these vaults, then you will earn a nice yield on that deposit and you'll be supporting the trading features in Solana DeFi. And the final way that you can earn a yield on the Drift platform is with the DLP or the Drift liquidity provider deposits. So here, this is where you can provide liquidity for their perps market. The three featured markets are Solana, Bitcoin, and ETH, and they've got a lot of what they call low liquidity markets as well. Now, the thing about this is that you're basically counter trading people that trade in the Drift platform. So for example, with the Solana perp, if you hit add liquidity here, how it works is if someone opens up a long trade, then you're gonna open up a short trade countering that or vice versa. And so the liquidity that you provide here is gonna be represented as an open order on the Drift platform. And so if you decide to make a deposit into this DLP, you can select the amount of Solana or whatever asset that you want to deposit. There's a few options here. And then you can select the amount of leverage, max leverage that you're willing to use for the account. So if you wanna be super safe, you can just put one X leverage 
And if you wanna go max degen, you can go up to 15X leverage, which honestly, I do not recommend. Now this is a little bit riskier. And so if you're just beginning and you want to dip your toes in the water, I recommend using the basic lend and borrow features, maybe make a deposit into an insurance fund staking if you're willing to lock up your funds for two weeks minimum and earn a higher yield. And then try trading on the platform, trade spot and perpetuals if you want without too much leverage. And if you do those things, you will start to accumulate points. And the first points drop is happening, like I said, in just under 10 days. And the final thing I should say is once you're done with Drift or if you just wanna withdraw some assets from the platform, you can hit this button, click on the withdraw section and then select the assets to withdraw. But if you are going to be withdrawing, make sure that you close out, especially your leveraged positions before you do so, because this will affect the health of your account. So hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful. I think Drift is a great platform for more intermediate to advanced traders on the Solana network, especially since you can trade perps. And look, my position, my short on Bitcoin is in profit right now. So let's just go ahead and close out this position and end the video with a nice 30 cent profit. Woohoo! And if you want to try out the Drift platform and support the channel, I'll leave my referral link down below. So feel free to use that. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.